I'm on Creative Fabrica, which is one of the premier sites for fonts, graphics, bundles, that sort of thing. The problem is, you know, there's a lot of people out there that have never installed a font before. They've never really thought about it. So when they see these font collections, you might be thinking, what do I do with it? How do I install it? So in this video, quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and use a font from the Creative Fabrica website. Okay, so if you've never heard of Creative Fabrica before, this is one of these sites that sells fonts, graphics. There's all sorts of stuff here. There's fonts, graphics, crafts, embroidery tools, bundles. You can even subscribe and get all access to everything for the whole year. I do want to point out just as we jump into this tutorial, I do have an affiliate link down below. If you're interested in purchasing anything from Creative Fabrica, if you click the link, I would receive a small commission. However, in this video, I am gonna just be using a free font. So they've actually got a whole freebie section right here. There's freebies and discount deals. So I'm gonna click on the freebies and I'm gonna to go to free fonts. So these are completely free to use. These have a commercial license. They're completely free. So I'm just going to grab one here at random. I really like this one here, Wild Crow. This is completely free. I'm going to click on it. And I can see here it gives me little thumbnails of things I could do with this sort of font, which is pretty neat. So you can do like nice graphics. So I'm going to download the font now. So I'm going to click this download for free, okay? So when I click the download for free button, you're gonna see a green button. It's going to ask me to log in. And I do wanna point out, if you haven't created an account yet for Creative Fabrica, you can do so, it's free to do. And then what happens is anything that you download, it stays in your account. So when you click on your account, you can actually see the link and it has the license in there for you to use, which is nice too. So here I'm just gonna click this download button. It's just going to think for a second and then it just gives me this little zip file. So now I can save this. Now I'm happy to be using Mozilla, but you could use this in Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Edge. It doesn't really matter what browser you're using. You should be able to save some sort of a download option if you're using like Windows 10. And so here I'm just going to click save file and I'm saving a zip file now and I'm just going to plop it in a folder on my computer and I've got a folder called fonts and it's just right off of the C drive. So I'm gonna click OK. Okay, so now I've got a folder here. It says it's my C drive, which is my regular hard drive. And then I've got a folder here called Fonts Creative Fabrica that I just created. And then these are other fonts that I've downloaded in the past. Now I've got a file name here. I'm just gonna click the Save button and that's gonna push it into this folder. So save, that's it. So now I can go into that folder I can click this little button over here. Now again, I'm using Mozilla, but you would just go into your actual folder and you can open up this folder. So here I've got my folder of all my different fonts. Now I'm just gonna double click on the zip file so I could look at any of the fonts. I've downloaded these other fonts in the past, but I can click on this zip file and it's going to open up my actual fonts now. So what you would do in this case is you would just take a look at which font you would like to use. So here's a true type font. TTF means true type font. OTF is open type font. And so what I would do here is just click on, I'm gonna use the open type font. The difference between the two of them, open type font is a little bit newer. So I'd recommend going with that. True type font is typically used for older computers. There's nothing wrong with either one. So if you're not sure which one to use, try open type first. And you don't need to install both though. So I'm just gonna pick the open type font. I'm gonna double click it. And now this is going to open up. So this is a screen that just opens up right in Windows. It gives me a whole breakdown of all of the different characters. This is a really nice font actually. And then here's all the different numbers. And this then gives you a look at the different sizes as well. So there's the different fonts. Now to install it, I'm just gonna click the install button. And what'll happen is when I click install, it just gives me a little window. It's on another screen here, but it just gives me a little window and it just says installing font and then it just closes. That's it. So now the font's installed. Now I'm gonna install this open type font, but it's the italic one. So you have to install each individual font. So this is the same font, but it's italicized. I'll just click the install button here at the top as well. 
click install, and we're good. So now both fonts are installed. So the name of this font is called Wild Crow. Now I can just open up any Windows application, PowerPoint, Excel, Word, Photoshop, whatever I'm using, and I can now use this font. Okay, so I'm just in Microsoft Word right now, and my default font is Calibri and it's 11. So I'm just gonna make this font bigger, just so we can read it a bit easier here on the screen. And I'm just gonna type in like test, test, test kind of thing, just to give us an idea of what the font is. And then from here, I can just highlight it, and I can change the font now just by clicking at the top and just scrolling on down, and I'm looking for that wild crow. I've got a million billion fonts on here. And here it is here. It's kind of small to see, but it's Wild Crow is the name of the font. And we can see now, it's kind of nice. It's got like distressed, I'm just gonna zoom right in. It's got like some distressed inside of it, like a little, that's pretty cool. So then I'm gonna also just type like A, B, C, D, that sort of thing. So you can see, that looks really good. I really like that font, huh. I might have to use that. So. That's how you install it. Now that's one way is just with Word. I'm just gonna open up Notepad. Okay, so now I'm inside Notepad and I can do the same thing. I can type in the word, you know, sample text, for example, and it will keep whatever the last text is that I was using here. So I'm just gonna go to Format and Font. And I can see it was set up to be Calibri Bold. I'm just gonna switch that down now. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and I'm eventually gonna get to the W's. And I can see there's Wild Crow, and I've got an option now of doing regular, bold, italic, or italic bold. So I'll just go regular, and I'll just go to like 36, for example. And that will give me the sample text that I can use. Very easy to download. That's a great looking font. Okay, I hope you guys found that helpful. Quick little tutorial on how to download and actually install a font from Creative Fabric or any website that you're looking at. The trick is to download that zip file and then double click on the zip file and then that just pushes it to everything that you're using in Windows. It could be Word, Excel, PowerPoint, whatever it is that you're using. Thanks a lot guys, take care.